Welcome back to Thought Experiment Month with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be concluding our extravaganza in the philosophy of mind and artificial intelligence with the Luminous Room Thought Experiment. This is a thought experiment in response to the original Chinese Room Thought Experiment. If you haven't watched that video, you should check that out now. This thought experiment was proposed by Paul and Patricia Churchland who said that it's not the brain's ability to respond in if-then statements that's important, but rather the speed and entire connectivity of the brain that is much more important for consciousness. So, they imagine the following experiment. Imagine a person in a room with a magnet, and they wave the magnet up and down really, 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 really fast. Supposedly, according to Maxwell's theory of artificial luminance, the magnet should start to glow, but anyone that's played with magnets knows that that's not in fact true. The problem, of course, is you would have to be waving the magnet significantly faster, much faster than a human could ever move in order to do that. The point is that it's a complex system, and the Chinese room doesn't duplicate everything. It doesn't create the whole system, and it doesn't duplicate the speed at which one would be processing information. So in summary, Turing says that both the Chinese room and the Chinese gym have consciousness. Searle says that neither has consciousness, while the Churchlands say that while the Chinese room situation with the if-then statements doesn't have consciousness, the Chinese gym, where the entire brain is simulated, as long as it's simulated at fast enough speed, would have consciousness. We've done the Turing test, the Chinese room, the brain simulator, the Chinese gym, the Korean room, and the luminous room. Next up, we're going to be looking into some skeptical scenarios. Watch a new video every single day this month at carneades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.